Hi, this is Sandy from Spitfire's customer experience team, and today I'm going to take a quick look at the Austin Atom machine. I'll be using Albion 1, but the Austin Atom machine is available in just about all of our libraries. You select the Austin Atom machine by clicking on this icon in the sidebar. You'll notice that it's greyed out currently because the articulation that I'm looking at is a long articulation. The Austin Atom is only available on short articulations. It behaves much like an arpeggiator from an old synthesizer, the idea being that you feed it long notes and it'll output rhythmic patterns of short notes. So I have some MIDI prepared here with some long notes, playing sort of six and seven note chords so that we've got plenty of material to work with. Let's hear how that sounds using Strings Long from Albion 1. So I'll close strings long for now, and let's open up the strings short spiccato. Like I say, we access the Austin Atom machine by clicking on this icon in the sidebar, so I'll do that now. And to get any noise out of it at all, you need to choose a mode other than off. So the default will be off. I'll choose ascending for now. I've loaded up some patterns in the Austin Atom machine already, so I'm just going to quickly jump to an empty pattern to demonstrate some of the core concepts. When you open up the Austin Atom machine, you're presented with two areas in the UI. The left-hand side here has all of our controls and options, which will affect how the incoming notes are handled. And this section on the right is where we input our notes and our rhythms. So to input a note, we just click on the note length that we want, and that will be added to the musical score. I'm going to put in a couple of different note values here, just so you can hear what they sound like. If I play that back now, we hear a single note played in an interesting rhythm from each of the chords. You'll notice underneath the length here that we have this key parameter. Changing this will change which note of the played chord is played when this particular note is played in the sequence. It's easier to show than tell, but I'll change this to a couple of different values here and play back the same sequence. This key parameter corresponds to the mode that you select. So in ascending mode, which we're in currently, one is the lowest note in the chord, the, the next lowest note is 2, and then 3, and 4, and so on. If I change this to descending, 1 is now the highest note of the chord, 2 is the second highest, 3 is the next highest, and so on. So if I play the same pattern back in descending mode, it'll sound quite different. I prefer ascending in this case, so I'll leave it on there for now. Underneath the key parameter, we have a velocity offset. Clicking and dragging on this will allow us to add accents or take some of the punch out of the notes. So if I add a couple of here at random, maybe make some of them lighter and some of them harder, and then play back the same pattern again. You can hear that it can add a little bit more accent to specific notes in your pattern. If I click on velocity here, we now get the offset. Offset actually allows us to set a different pitch. So I can shift some of these notes up and down by an octave or semitones. Now you have an octave in either direction. So I'll shift these around quite dramatically. And if I play back the same pattern again, Quite a dramatic example, perhaps. Now, if you want to remove notes from a pattern, you just hit this little trash can icon and it will delete the last note in the pattern. And you can completely empty it by just clicking until it's empty. Next to the trash can, we have a little cog, which will allow us to change some of the behaviors for the pattern that we have currently selected. 
and then next to the cog is a drop down menu where we can access all eight of the available patterns in our Austin Atom. So I've prepared a couple of different Austin Atom patterns here and I can just jump between them by selecting the different items from this drop down menu. I've just got the four patterns in here, but if I play this back with all of my patterns playing at once, you'll hear how even with four patterns, this can become quite dramatic quite quickly. On the left hand side, underneath our mode drop down menu, we also have a couple of other things that we can do. We have a control key switches range, and with this enabled, you'll see this range of keys appear. By default, it might be much higher. You can move it around by clicking and dragging on the note. So I'm going to leave it on C negative one in this case. Now these key switches are arranged chromatically. Uh, the first four of these will select which Austin Atom mode you're in. So in this case, C negative one will be off, C sharp will be order pressed, D will be ascending mode, D sharp will be descending mode, and then the E and the F here allow us to enable and disable chord mode, which I'll come to in a moment. Underneath the control key switches, we have our solo key switches, which I've used already when I was demonstrating with Austin Atom pattern five. What the solo key switches do are solo the individual patterns that you have. These are arranged chromatically from whichever note is displayed on the right here. I've set mine to C negative two. So if I played C negative two, then all patterns will play at once. If I play this now and cycle through some of the other options, you'll hear that each chromatic note will select the next pattern. If you play more than one of these key switches at a time, the corresponding patterns will play at the same time. Underneath the solo key switches, we have chord mode. With this enabled, the key parameter is ignored and every held note will be played on every step of the pattern. This can be quite busy, so I'm going to solo off just Austin Atom pattern one. If I play that back now, you'll hear every note in the chord gets played. And last but not least, if you like a particular pattern that you've made, you can save it and then load it into other projects. Note that it will just be the pattern that's saved and not the entire combination of patterns. So you may want to save a few different patterns and load them in to your other projects one at a time. If you want to find out more about the Austin Atom, the best place to look is in your user manual. But if you get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks.